Hi everyone, I decided to label this video intermediate beginner just because this is some of these poses and moves that will be flowing through will be easier to access if you've already had just a little bit of experience doing some yoga consistently and if you are completely new then I would maybe try some of my earlier videos and then kind of do this one later when you've already been doing those more consistently. So if you're ready we're just going to start at the top of the mat and we'll take a sun salutation and then continue into the rest of our workout. So you can just go ahead and sweep both arms overhead, taking a full body stretch. And then we'll come to our forward fold. So you can bend between each knee, stretching into the whole back side of the body. You can also play around with coming up onto your toe tips and lengthening through your back and bending into each leg, alternating. Just warming up the whole undersides of the legs and the lower back. So on your next inhale, go ahead and lengthen through your spine, taking a halfway lift. You can roll your shoulders away from your ears, lengthen through your chest and your spine, the sides of your waist. Inhale. And exhale as you fold back over your legs. So we'll plant our hands, come back into our plank position. You can either take a mini cobra pose or you can come to an upward facing dog. So I'm going to do an upward dog so you can just lower down halfway. I'm going to flip my toes and come up into upward dog. So whether or not you're here or in your mini cobra pose, you can just lift up through your chest. And on your exhale, you can come back, flip your toes and come to a downward facing dog. You can stretch your hips up to the sky, spread your fingertips wide, pull your heels down to your mat, and lengthen through your spine. So again, if you need to come up on your toes and bend the knees to straighten your back more, you can always do that. I'll take one more breath here. And we'll go ahead and lift the right leg away from the ground. You can bend it into your chest and go ahead and try to plant it between your hands. So wherever it may lay or wherever it may fall, you can just kind of help out your ankle and place it where it needs to be. So you can take an inhale and sink down into your lunge here. You can straighten and then bend into the front leg to kind of warm up those muscles. And from here, you can just take your back hind left foot and step it in. So you're taking kind of a short um, warrior one stance, but with a straight front leg. So if this is kind of hard to access, you can continue to warm up the front leg by bending into it. So you can do that a couple times. So your back toes are pointing at about a 45 degree angle off your mat. So we're just warming into the front leg. And when your flexibility starts to loosen up a little bit more, you can take a long spine. So we're taking a halfway lift over the stance. Inhale. And as you exhale, we'll fold over the leg. So this is a really nice stretch along the whole back side of the leg and the IT band, the hamstring. You can take another inhale and lift forward and exhale and fold up your leg. Inhale and exhale. Inhale and lengthen. This time you can leave your left fingertips on the ground and you can bring your right hand to the base of your spine. So we're going to twist open in the opposite direction. So you can you can hang out here with your, your right hand supporting your lower back, or you can open up by extending the right arm. So again, this is really working into the outer side of the leg. And we're going to make this a little more challenging by turning it into a balance pose. So you can bring your left fingertips in front of your mat. And we're going to start to shift our weight into the front right leg. 
So go ahead and start to lift the left leg away from the ground, bringing it parallel to the mat. From here, you can keep your right hand where it is, and we'll start to twist open towards the right. So really use your core and your obliques to turn your chest forward, and then you can reach the right hand up to the sky. This is a big balance pose, so take an inhale. And on your exhale, you can bring your right fingertips back down to the ground, square your hips, Lift that left leg all the way up to the sky, taking a standing splits position. And on your exhale, start to bend into the right knee. Plant your left foot all the way back to the back edge of your mat. And we're back in a lunge. Inhale, reach your chest forward, sink down into your hips. Exhale, send your hips back and fold over your front leg. Inhale and come back. Opening up through your chest. Sink down. Exhale, send your hips back. Inhale and come forward. Exhale to fold over your leg. We'll inhale and come back to our lunge. From here, make sure you can find the stability in your legs to rise up into a crescent lunge. <laughs> and from here, we're gonna take a eagle pose in our arms. So go ahead and take your right arm, cross it over your left. And if you can, you're gonna keep wrapping your arms so that your palms eventually come together. So if you can't get them here, you can always just bring the backs of your palms together. So wherever you are, sink down into your lunge. Reach your fingertips up, take a mini back bend. Inhale. This is a hard balancing pose. <laughs> and on your exhale, we'll bring the fingertips down to the ground in line with your right foot. Bring your right shoulder to your right knee and fold as you exhale. From here, unwind your arms. Bring your hands to the outside of your mat at a 45 degree angle and lower your left heel down to the ground. So you have warrior two in your legs here and kind of like a downward dog in your upper body. So push through your hands and push your body into your lunge. Inhale. And exhale as you sink slightly further down and push your chest towards your towards your legs. We'll come back to the center. Go ahead and come back to your lunge facing the front of your mat. We'll plant the hands down. Sweep the right foot up and back behind you to tripod down dog. Inhale. And exhale. We're gonna come into fallen triangle pose. So go ahead and bend the right knee. Bring it into your chest and go ahead and shoot your right foot out towards the left. So you're kind of in this pretzel uh, position. From here, spin your left heel down to the ground. Leave your right hand planted and start to lift your left arm up and over. So lift your hips up to the sky. Take a full body stretch. Inhale. Open everything up, bring your arm alongside your ear. And as you exhale, spin back to center. Lift that right leg back up to the sky again. And we're back into tripod down dog. Now, from here, we're gonna take the opposite direction. So go ahead and bend the right knee again. Start to lift the knee up to the sky. And you're just going to take that back hind right foot and continue to bring it all the way down to the ground behind you. You can come out onto the outer edge of your left foot and sweep your right arm up and over. So now we're taking a full body stretch in the opposite direction. And you can come back to center. 
Again, we're back into tripod down dog. Lift that right leg up to the sky. And as you exhale, we'll bring it back down to the mat. So we'll take a couple breaths here. Opening up the whole body. And to deepen the stretch, we'll go ahead and come into dolphin pose by lowering both elbows down to the mat. And take one more breath in here. And you can come back to your downward facing dog by lifting your elbows away from the ground. Go ahead and look your gaze towards your hands and we'll walk all the way back to the top of our mat. Coming back to our forward fold. Inhale, take your halfway lift. Exhale and fold. Inhale, we'll come all the way to stand. And then you can just bring your hands to prayer at your chest as we take just a couple breaths here before we switch to the other side. So you can take an inhale. And on your exhale, you can sweep your arms again over your head. And then we'll come back to our forward fold. So we'll take our second sun salutation. Go ahead and take your halfway lift, so reach through your chest. Inhale, lengthen through the sides of your waist. And exhale as you fold back over your legs. Plant your hands down. We'll come back into our plank position. So your choice, whether or not you want to take a mini cobra or upward dog. So inhale, lower down halfway. I'm going to come to upward facing dog. Inhale and open through your chest. And exhale as you send your hips back and come to downward facing dog. So really send your sitting bones up to the sky. Actively pull your heels down. Bring your arms alongside your ears. And on your inhale, go ahead and lift the left side, or lift the left leg. Bend it into your chest, and try to plant it in between your hands. So again, we'll take a moment here to kind of warm up by bending into the front knee and sending the hips back a little bit. Inhale. As you exhale, you can try to straighten through the front leg. Warming up the other side. And go ahead and step the right back foot in a little bit. Point those toes about 45 degrees away from your mat. And if your front left leg is still feeling kind of tight, you can bend into a little bit more right here. Bending and then straightening. And once your flexibility allows for it, you can start to lengthen through your spine. And then exhale as you fold over your front leg. Inhale, reach your chest forward. And exhale as you fold. Inhale, lengthen. And exhale as you fold. This time we'll take our twist, so go ahead and leave your right fingertips on the ground and bring your left hands to the base of your spine. Start to twist open towards the left. Use your core to support your whole body in this twist. And really feel the IT band getting stretched and also the back calf of the hind leg. So open up here. You can lift the you can lift the left arm up to the sky. And then we'll move into our balance pose. So go ahead and reach your right fingertips in front of your mat. Start to shift your weight into the left foot. Float the right leg away from the ground so it comes parallel to your mat. And we'll start to twist open towards the left. So you can stay here or you can lift the left arm. 
And then you can bring the left hands back down to the mat, or back down to the crown. Square your hips and take a standing splits position by reaching the right toes all the way up to the sky. Start to bend into the left knee and send that right foot back to the edge of your mat. So you're in this low lunge again. You can bend into the left knee, open through your chest. Exhale, send your hips back and fold over the front left leg. Inhale, come forward in your lunge. Exhale, send your hips back. Inhale and come forward. Exhale and send your hips back. This time as you come forward in your lunge, find the stability in your legs. Strengthen, strengthen up those legs and kind of hug the muscles in so that you feel that they're supporting you as you rise up into a high crescent lunge. So here we'll take our eagle position in our arms. So go ahead and take that left arm, cross it over the right. Keep your balance in this pose and try to continue to wrap your arms until your palms come together. And like I said before, if this isn't happening, you can just bring the backs of your palms together, or the backs of your hands together. So wherever you are, find the balance in your legs. Reach your fingertips up to the sky. Take a mini back bend. Inhale. And as you exhale, start to lower those fingertips down to the mat, bringing your left shoulder in line with your left knee. Go ahead and unwind your arms and bring your hands 45 degrees off your mat. Go ahead and spin your right heel down to the mat so you have warrior two in your legs. And start to push through your hands. So you have downward dog in your upper body and warrior two in your lower body. So you should feel a really nice stretch on the inside of your left hip right there, inside of the left thigh. And go ahead and bring your hands back to center. Go ahead and square your hips here. Plant your hands down and lift that left leg up and back behind you so you come to tripod down dog. So we'll go ahead and take our fallen triangle pose. So bend that left knee into your chest. Shoot that left foot out to the side. Come on to the outside, or yeah, the, <laughs> the inside of your back right foot. So you plant it and you reach up and over with your right hand. Taking another full body stretch on the opposite side. Inhale. Get your arm to come alongside your ear. And as you exhale, we'll come back to center. Lift that left leg up and back behind you again. And we'll take that in the opposite direction. So go ahead and bend into the left knee. Reach that left knee up to the sky. And start to lower that left foot all the way down to the mat behind you. Coming onto the ball of your foot. Rotate onto the outside of your right foot. And reach up and over. Take an inhale. Reach those hips up to the sky. And exhale as you come back to center. Back into tripod down dog. And you can lower the left foot back down to meet your right. So we'll again take a couple breaths here. And then we'll take dolphin pose so you can lower both elbows down to your mat, this will give you a deeper stretch along the back sides of your legs. Take one more breath in. And come back to your downward dog by lifting your elbows away from your mat. And for 
from here, you can go ahead and just lower both knees to the ground. So from here, we're just going to stretch a little bit more into the quads and the legs. So go ahead and extend your left leg back behind you. You can extend your right arm in front of you, bend the left leg, and go ahead and just reach back for that foot. So you're kind of, if you can kick your foot into your hands more, you'll get a deeper stretch into the front of your left quad. So you can just kick that foot up and back behind you and then gently release it. You can stretch your body out completely again just to not get anything that feels too tight. And then we'll do the other side. So go ahead and extend your right leg behind you, extend your left arm, bend the right leg, reach back for that foot, kick the foot into the hand, and stretch the front of the right leg. And you can lower it back down. And we're going to go ahead and do just a little bit of ab work. So you can go ahead and come to lay on your back. You can hug your knees into your chest. Roll them around a little bit in the hip sockets. You can bring your arms up and back behind your head. And we're going to take some just plain bicycle crunches. So. Go ahead and lift your head away from the ground. Keep your right leg bent, and then extend the left leg and twist towards that right knee. So bring the left elbow to the right knee and we'll switch. We'll do 10 on each side. This is the second one on the left. Three, three, four, four five, Try to keep your head and shoulders lifted the whole time so you can get the maximum amount of results out of this exercise. And this is the eighth time on the right. Two more. And this is the last one. Go ahead and lower your head back down to the ground. Hug your knees into your chest. And we're going to go ahead and stretch the legs a little bit more. You can bring your left one to lay beneath you. Squeeze that right knee into your chest. Lift the left leg up to the sky. And wherever you can hold on to your leg is totally fine. If you, you know, want to kind of stretch it out over here, that's fine. If you can grab higher up and pull it in further, then that's good too. You can kind of pull the leg out to the right, pull it to the center, towards the left a little bit. On your exhale, you can pull the leg in closer to the body. So we'll take a couple of breaths, just stretching out the backs of the legs. And one more breath in. On your exhale, you can pull that leg further in. Go ahead and bend into your chest again. Reach the right arm out to the side and go ahead and start to reach that right knee all the way to the ground towards the left. So we're going to take our little spinal twist here. Inhale and exhale. And you can come back to center. Squeeze that right knee in again and release it below you. We'll do the other side so you can pick up that left knee, hug it into your chest, send the left leg up to the sky, and we'll stretch into this leg for a bit. So you can bring it out towards the left a little bit. You can bring it in the center, towards the right. And take an inhale and on your exhale you can pull that leg in slightly closer to your body so even if it's hard for you to straighten the leg and you're kind of out here then you can just wherever your flexibility takes you is fine we're all at different levels so no need to worry about that and take one more inhale and your exhale you can pull that leg in further 
and go ahead and bend it back into your chest and bring it all the way over to the right until your knee touches the ground and extend your left, left arm out to the side. So another spinal twist on the other side here. This is a nice chest opener too. So let gravity pull your left arm to the ground as you keep your right knee planted by laying your right hand on top of it. Take one more inhale here. And as you exhale, we can come back to center. Give that knee one more squeeze and send it below you. So we can come into corpse pose. You can bring your arms alongside your body. You can let your feet kind of turn out. Let your body just kind of sink into your mat. This is the time where we get to just clear our mind. And feel your breath start to settle. This is also a nice place where you can rest your hands on your tummy and feel the rise and fall of your breath. And you can take a full body stretch by Reaching your arms overhead and stretching your toes beneath you. And then you can bring your knees into your chest one more time. You can thank yourself for taking the time to work out today. And when you're ready, you can come back to a seated position. So thank you guys so much for joining me today and if you did enjoy this video then please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. It would really mean a lot to me and be very helpful. I always appreciate you guys' feedback. So thank you again and I will see you all next Tuesday.